passenger jet, an off-duty pilot hitching a ride in the cockpit allegedly tried to shut off the engines mid-flight on Sunday. He's 44 years old. His name is Joseph David Emerson. He's charged with 83 counts, each of attempted murder and reckless endangerment, as well as endangering an aircraft. Chris Van Cleve reports he's due in court later today. So we want law enforcement as soon as we get on the ground and park. A cockpit crisis at 31,000 feet Sunday night on Alaska Airlines Flight 2059. We've got the uh, guy that tried to shut the engines down uh, out of the cockpit. Police say the guy was 44-year-old Joseph Emerson, an off-duty Alaska captain riding in the cockpit jump seat. About 30 minutes after taking off from Everett, Washington, heading to San Francisco, Emerson allegedly attempted to pull these red emergency handles, which cut off fuel to the engines, and activate a fire suppression system. I've flown a lot in my life, and I had been scared once before, and um, yesterday was the second time. Passenger Paul Stephen was among the 84 aboard. The only thing they told us when it ha was happening was it was a medical disturbance. And then the comment when we were getting close to landing was there was a cockpit disturbance. Pilots made an emergency landing in Portland. No one was injured. It's very concerning. This is such an extremely rare situation. Airline Captain Laura Einsettler. How easy would it be for a jump seat passenger to access some of the flight controls? especially the larger aircraft, have most of our engine controls on the center console. Basically, the jump seaters and all pilots can access that area. Law enforcement sources say there does not appear to be a connection to terrorism. Emerson is a married father of two from the Bay Area, seen in Facebook photos visiting sick children in the hospital. A motive so far is unknown. For CBS Mornings, I'm Chris Van Cleve. Whatever the motive, you'll never be able to never be able to understand. But I always get on a plane and I think, well, the pilots and the crew want to get home as much as we do. And when you hear a story like that, I don't even know how to wrap my brain around that. Well, when I see somebody in the jump seat, I think, oh, great, an extra Ex pilot, pilot if something too, happens yeah. to the one. But the, the best thing that makes me settled is how chill the, the actual pilot was yeah, when he radios it, it in. Yes. And he's like, we need law enforcement on the ground, as opposed to what I would be, which is unintelligible. Help. There's certain people that Help. we were conditioned to just trust. There's yes. teachers, yes. firemen, yes. police officers, and pilots are at the top of the list. And this happens? But you're right, though, John, about Scared, the pilot. Because yeah. I, I heard him, too, and he said someone, the guy went a little overboard. It was certainly more than that. Yeah. And I would think if they're the two pilots, when the guy's reaching for it, you, you would think maybe he sees something we don't see. Yeah. yeah. He's trying to help us. And imagine in that space.